Welcome back to guns.com. My name is Ben. You are looking at the latest iteration of Six Hours super popular P365 series of pistols. This is the Six Hour P365 X Macro Comp. Today, we're going to be checking it out. So Sig sent me this sample that you're looking at right here, and I gotta tell you, it's pretty sweet. It came all set up the way you see it. It's got a Romeo Zero Elite Red dot up here. It's their latest optic. It's very, very nice and crisp and clean. It's got a Foxtrot 2 light down here. It can operate on either side. Very, very nice package. I also wanna show you that this gun is clear. No round in the chamber, no ammunition anywhere here. And so this gun is clear, and we can get this review going. Just to compare size of the newer gun, this is my 365X here, and this gun is clear, no rounds in the chamber, nothing in the magazine. But if you compare the two side by side, you'll see that the X Macro Comp is considerably larger than its 365X brethren here. When it first came out, this little pistol here had a round capacity of 10 or 12 rounds. This one here is a 12 rounder, so 12 plus one, 13. But this gun is incredibly concealable and capable for its size. However, I will say that it is for me, my hands, borderline too small. Um, it is also quite snappy at the range. I do practice with this gun just simply because I do carry it from time to time, but it is not a gun that I'll go to the range with and put hundreds of rounds through. It's, it's not that enjoyable to shoot, but I will say on the other hand, this slightly larger version, and again, SIG seems to be making these bigger and bigger. Their latest, the XL, was quite a bit bigger than the original, but this is even larger than the XL. And I personally think it's it's the right size. I think that SIG is listening to their customers and they're making them bigger and bigger because people want a little bit more gun to grab onto. You do have that comp up top, which means that it's less snappy than the little brother in here. And that's a plus for me because shooting this gun, and I have shot it a lot, it's a pleasure to shoot. It's great, very controllable, very soft shooting gun. It's, uh, I think SIG's really knocked it out of the park with this one, I hate to, hate to tell you, but this is this is just a sweet, soft shooting gun. You could shoot this all day. That uh, comp up top there does get a little dirty, so you gotta clean that every now and then, but uh, this gun is a nice little shooter. But what I really love about the 365s in general is how thin they are. These are 1.1 inch thick guns. They've maintained that across the platform. I really like that because it does A, make it concealable, but it just feels really good in the hand. And just quickly to compare, this is sort of my go-to gun right now. This is a Glock 19 Gen 5. This gun is clear, but this gun is only slightly thicker wider than the 365, but it feels a lot thicker when you handle it. It might be that grip, which is thicker than the slide, but it feels kind of chunky. Great gun though, but this 365, all of them in fact, are nice and thin and it just, I just personally think it feels good. It makes it easy to shoot. And again, very concealable, very capable gun. <music> Probably the most exciting thing about this new X Macro Comp is round capacity. I don't know how they've done it, but they've managed to get 17 rounds into this very slim magazine. Now that is quite a feat on the part of SIG. Kudos to them. So with 17 rounds in that mag and one up top, that's 18 rounds. And they have managed to keep that in a very slender grip here. It does feather out a little bit at the bottom, but I'll be honest with you, that's kind of where you want a little bit more meat. But up top, everything is very slender, still 1.1 inches wide, and it just feels really, really good. So you have an amazing capacity with this new X Macro Comp. The other dimensions of the X Macro Comp are comparable to the XL version of the 365. It is 5.2 inches tall, 6.6 .6 inches in overall length, and sports a 3.1 inch barrel. It weighs 21 and a half ounces unloaded. Now I did mention that the barrel is 3.1 inches long. That means that it ends right around here and allows the comp to do its job. But again, the barrel is quite recessed under the slide here and the barrel is not comped or drilled in any way whatsoever. And this comp does work. It really helps reduce recoil. It does make the gun, however, quite a bit louder than a non-comped gun. And that is something to take into consideration if you're shooting this in an enclosed space. We had the chance to shoot it from an enclosed car with the windows down and it was loud. You really wanted your hearing protection on.
I find the trigger on the X macro comp here to be very, very acceptable. I think that SIG has improved the trigger every single time they come out with a new model. They improve the trigger just a little bit here. Uh, it is a little bit better than my 365X here, which is a few years old. This trigger here, again, very, very acceptable, very crisp, very nice, but they have improved it a little bit with this most recent gun here. And I got to tell you, I like it. I'll quickly note some of the compatibility possibilities amongst SIG's 365 line of pistols here. So the 17 round capacity from the X macro comp will in fact go into an older, smaller little 365 X here, thus giving this little gun a 17 plus one round capacity. That's pretty cool. Um, the smaller magazines from the older little guns here will not go into the new X macro comp. It just doesn't seat, but I don't know why you'd want to when you have a 17 round mag, which is really what makes this gun pretty darn cool. Also, if you own the 365 XL, you can swap the slide here and get rid of this comp slide if you wanted to, and just put your 365 XL slide up top here. So there is some compatibility amongst the 365 lineup. Pretty cool gun, man. And now for perhaps the most important of any review of a new gun, and that is reliability. Sig Sauer invited about two dozen of us firearms industry professionals to New Hampshire in July, so last month. They showed us around their facilities. They invited us to the grand opening of their experience center, which was very cool. But they also had us come and shoot this gun. At first, we had some tables set up with a whole bunch of these, and I probably put about 250 rounds through it, and this gun ran flawlessly, shooting some SIG stock ammo. They then invited us to shoot a little friendly competition. They had a four-stage course set up, and altogether, I would say that we shot at least 3,500 rounds through this gun, through a bunch of these guns, and I didn't hear of anyone having any issues. I didn't have any issues, and so I could say that so far this gun has proven itself to be very reliable. Now that isn't a surprise these days when you get a gun from a very good quality manufacturer such as Sig Sauer. They are doing quite well these days and they are putting a lot of their money into machines and robots, not to replace the workers, but to get some very, very high tolerances on their firearms. So in general, if you're buying a Sig Sauer firearm, you're getting a very good quality gun. I would love to know what you think about this gun, about P365s in general. Do you like them? Are you thinking about getting one? If you're looking for a newer used gun, optics, ammos, accessories, you name it, check out guns.com. We would love to be your one-stop shop for all of your Second Amendment needs. My name is Ben with guns.com. Get out there and shoot, hop on, be safe, and we'll see you on the next video.